iRobot has announced a brand new lawn mower, and this one really is amazing. It's a fully robotic autonomous mower, and in today's video, we're going to take you through all the features and benefits that it has to offer. When you say the name iRobot, most people think of those vacuum cleaners that they've been making for almost 30 years. It's hard to believe that iRobot's been around that long, but they've done more than vacuum cleaners. They've made things that clean your pool, clean your gutter, and a lot more. They even have made military robots. Now recently they've sold that division off so that they could focus on the home care market and one area was missing for them and that was lawn care or outside robots. So the iRobot Terra is a big deal because this is their first attempt to get into the outside space to make your yard care easier. Very little information has been released about the Terra but I've done a lot of research and I'm going to take you through the features, benefits and a lot more. Let's start our reveal of the iRobot Terra by looking at the outside. Now this lawnmower has a very cool look to it. It looks very space age but also industrial and tough. And that makes sense because the body of this mower is made of ABS plastic which is very durable, impact resistant and should work very well for this application. Now I also hope you like gray in color because my sources say this is the only color this mower will come in. You'll never have to worry about plugging it in because it does that job itself. From the rear of the Terra what we can see is a large carrying handle and there's also an indent in the front so you should be able to easily pick this mower up when you need to. And that flap on the top is actually a protective cover for the control panel. Let's take a look at that. Here's the Terra's control panel and iRobot's done a really great job putting a lot of stuff in a small space. But some key things you want to be aware of is this piece right here and this is your safety key. This is how you can turn the mower on and off but you can remove it so the kids or unauthorized users can't activate the mower. And speaking of activation, the big mow button is obviously how you get all the action started and to turn the mower on. The next thing you'll see is this remote control. It doesn't quite look like one because it's recessed into that little compartment. But this remote is very cool. It's even got a joystick which tells me that you'll be able to manually control the mower if you want to. Now the kill switch is going to be handy because this thing's got blades, it's spinning and it's driving around your yard. So if it goes haywire and it pulls the terminator on you, you can hit that big red button you'll stop the mower completely. And the last button that says home is actually to direct the mower to go back to its charging station if you want to override the automatic program. So this could come in handy as well. Robotic lawn mowers in the past really did a bad job cutting the lawn. And that's an important function, right? That's the only thing they're supposed to do. iRobot knew this and what they did is they made a twin blade design. And these are made of stainless steel and they look to me to be built to last. And I also like the fact that I see a quick release here that's going to allow you to easily change these blade units whenever you need to. So I would expect based on this design a very good cut. The mower needs to know where it's mowing so it stays in its space and it does a complete job on your area. And they were able to accomplish that by coming up with a brand new way to communicate its location. And they did that via this large antenna. And this antenna provides ultra wide bandwidth. And in fact iRobot had to get special permission from the FCC to use that band for their lawn mower. But they were successful in doing that. This is where the Terra shines. To install this mower is very easy. You just put these wire free beacons in your yard and these will communicate with the mower. You do not need to bury a wire around your property which is what you had to do with every other lawn mower that was in this category. You can see the navigation in action right here. iRobots provided smartphone control. With this app you'll be able to turn your mower on and off, set schedules, set times that you don't want the mower to run and really get complete control over it. Our next feature is a big deal. They call it imprint smart mapping and straight line navigation. All that means is it's going to cut your grass just like you do with straight lines that look good. Old robotic mowers were never popular because they cut the lawn with a random pattern, leaving lines everywhere and they just look like a mess. So this single feature is a big deal that really will give you a great cut. Another critical feature that iRobot has lots of experience with is making their machine so that they self charge. So that means when your mower needs to be charged up it will return back to the outdoor charger that they provide so that it can get juiced back up so it can keep cutting the grass at the next scheduled interval. 
iRobot really did a great job with this mower. They came out with a ton of new features that address the real problems with robotic mowers, but I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to test this mower in person and really see if it's going to do the job that I think it will. But I hope this video was helpful to provide some of the key features, the benefits, and let you learn a little bit more about this mower. So if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.